here we have the MT4 platform. Now this is a platform used by traders to trade on the Forex market. Now here we have the price levels, okay? So over here we have the price levels and here we have the time and the date. So we have time and date here, we have price levels here. Now below the time and date, we have the different currency pairs, okay? We have New Zealand USD, Euro JPY, Australian USD, etc. We have the different currency pairs here. Now here we have our candlestick charts. Now each of these candlesticks represents a moment in time and you can select the time frame over here. Here we have the different time frames. So for example, we're currently on the one hour time frame. So each of these candlesticks represents one hour. Okay, we can go to the 15 minutes time frame here and now each of these candlesticks represents 15 minutes. Okay. And we can also go to the daily time frame, we can go to the weekly time frame, the monthly time frame, etc. Okay. The highest time frame we have is the monthly time frame. So each of these candlesticks represents one month. Okay. Now beside the candlesticks, we have the tools. Over here we have the tools. We have our Fibonacci tool. We have text. So you can add text to the chart if you want to add a text for example ABC you can add text to the chart here you can check your font the size of your font and the color okay so we can add text we can add squares etc now also here we have the trend line so let me draw a trend line. now the trend line is one of the most powerful tools used in Forex trading okay we use this tool to help us to find turning points in the market so here I have a trend line on my chart. If I want to remove this trend line, I just simply double click here, then I right click and I click delete. Okay, I can also edit this trend line by going here on trend line properties. I can choose if I wish for this trend line to show on all time frames, or I can click this and then I can select the specific time frame that I want this trend line to be visible on. Okay? So that's that. We can also click ray. If I click ray, this trend line will now become a ray, okay? A long ray. Okay, so let me remove this trend line here. Now you can always customize your chart. For example, I'm going to customize this chart. Now all you need to do is right click the chart, click properties here, and now you can customize the chart to whichever color you choose. Okay? Uh, you can choose red, yellow, blue, any color you choose. You can also choose a color scheme from here. We, we're currently on black on white. You can go on green on black or you can go on yellow on black. Any color you choose. Now I'm going to add some indicators to this chart. Now to add indicators, just go over here and you click this button here and here we have a list of all the indicators that are on this platform. I'm going to add the volumes indicator. So I'm going to click volumes and here we have the settings for my volume indicator. Select the size line that I want and my visualization is set to all time frames. Everything is good and now I just click OK. And now my volume indicator is on my chart, just like my moving average indicator is on my chart. Okay. So now you can save templates. For example, if I don't want to add volume indicator to every chart individually, I can just save this template. So just right click the chart, click templates, click save template. You can put whatever name you want for the template or you can set the template as default. Okay. So we put this template as default. We click save and it's going to say, do you want to replace it? Click yes. And now whenever I open a new chart, I will have my volume indicator on that chart because this template is set as default. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to delete these currency pairs here. 
So to delete a current appear, just right click, close. Okay? Right click, close, right click, close, right click, close, and that's it. Okay? So I close all these currency pairs. And now I'm gonna reopen those currency pairs. I'm just gonna go over here to where it says create new chart. Click this button. And now you can add any chart you want. Just click it. For example, I'm going to add the GBP USD. Fantastic, we have the GBP USD. And you notice that I have my volume indicator on this chart and the moving average indicator on this chart. That is because my template is set to default, okay? My customized template is set to default. So whenever I add a new chart, it will automatically have my indicators and my customization. So let's add the EURUSD. Let's add the USD JPY. Let's add the USD CAD. Let's add uh, Euro JPY. These are the currency pairs that I mainly trade. Euro JPY, Euro USD, uh, GBP JPY. I'm going to add all these currency pairs and the Euro Aussie. Okay, Euro Aussie. You can really make money with this currency pair because it moves hundreds of pips in no time. For example, from here to here is 1,600 pips. Okay, that's a lot of pips. Now, okay, so we add the currency pairs that we want. Now, you can zoom in on the chart. Just click here, you zoom in on the chart. Or you can zoom out by clicking here, okay? You can also go in the past by clicking your screen and scrolling back, just like this, and we can go in the past, okay? Go in the past. And if you want to go back to the present, just click here, and you'll be automatically taken back to the present. Now you can change the chart from candlesticks to line or bar chart, okay? But we mainly use candlesticks because candlesticks gives us candlestick patterns. And we can use candlestick patterns as buy and sell signals, okay? And that is explained in this course. In this course, you will learn how to use candlestick patterns as buy and sell signals. Now, let's look at how to place a trade, okay? How to place a trade. Now, if you want to place a trade, just go here that says new order, click new order, and you can place a trade. So let's, for example, I want to place a trade. I want to place a trade with one lot. Here you can choose the volume of your trade. One lot, 10 lots, etc. One lot, depending on your account size, is $10 per pip. So if I'm trading one lot and I make 100 pips, I just made $1,000. Now, if you have a small account, one lot may just mean one pip. Depends on the size of your account. Now, we have stop loss. Then you can set your stop loss by simply clicking here and you can set the amount of risk that you wish to put on the trade. You can also set your profit target here by clicking here and you can set your profit target, the amount of profit that you wish to go for on that trade. Now, if you're ready to place a trade, just click buy and the trade will be instantly executed because we have the type here, market execution. If you want to set a pending order, you click pending order, okay? And with pending order, we just select a price, a future price, and if the market reaches that price, that's when the trade is executed. For example, I can put a pending order at this level here. Now, if the market comes to this level, my trade will be executed, okay? So if I put a buy pending order here, pending order to buy this New Zealand USD, once the market comes down, I will be automatically entered in this trade. So that is a pending order. Now, if you want to place a trade, you can just click buy now, buy, and we're automatically entered in this trade. If you want to set your stop loss, you can click on the green line here, go down, and you will see this. You, 
you click I accept okay do it again and your stop loss is set so here I have a stop loss that is 25 pips I can now put a profit target here now my profit target is 47 pips stop loss is 25 pips now if you want to see this trade you can also click here terminal and you will see this trade just go over here that says trade and you will see your current trade you will see your stop loss you will see your take profit you will see your size your trade is a buy here is the time and here is your entry price okay and if you want to close you can simply click here and you close that trade or you can right click on your screen here and click close and it's just like that you're out of that trade okay just like that you're out of this trade and if you're not seeing all the currency peers that you want just right click and click show all show all and it, this will ensure that you have all the currency peers all the currency peers okay now if you want to open a new account just click open an account or you can if you're logged out of your account you can always click on file and go on to login to trade account and yeah you can change the language here uh, you can so you can click here as you can see as much charts as you have opened down here now if you want to go back to looking at one chart just simply double click any currency pair down here okay and we're back to normal okay so that is it for this lecture uh, this is all you really need to know about MT4 platform I've been trading for years and this is really what I find important about MT4 platform so go open a demo account you can use the link in the next lecture to open a demo account and start getting familiar with the MT4 platform